Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would try out a new mascara from Maybelline. They have made some of my favorite mascaras at the drugstore. What mascara is it? This one right here. It is the Colossal 36 Hour Wear Mascara. Now I don't generally wear my mascaras for more than like 12 to 15 hours maybe 20 hours tops if it's a very early morning and a very late night, but 36 hours. Looks like this one right here. So we're gonna compare it to some of their other Colossal mascaras and try it on today. So if you'd like to see my thoughts and see application, then just keep watching. Okay. So when I received this from Maybelline, my first thoughts were, don't they already have a Colossal mascara? To answer your question, yes, they do. They have the Colossal Mascara that looks like this. It's a kind of a metallic -y packaging, so it's hard to show you on film, but their original one, this one says limited edition, so perhaps they brought it back. Platinum Black, Colossal Mascara, Instant Big Volume, and the brush looks like this. But then they had the Colossal Big Shot in collaboration with Makeup by Shayla, where she had her own packaging that had her face on it. I think there was a purple one and a blue one. And again, the brush looks very similar. Not sure if you can see them both at the same time because of this glare, but. So here is the Colossal and here's the Colossal Big Shot wand. So the new one, the Colossal, looks very similar, only it's half yellow and half black. So Makeup by Shayla's was all yellow and then the Colossal was all black. So it looks it looks like the same wand. Let's see if the claims are the same. Mega brush, mega brush, volume plumping formula, volume lock formula, smudge resistant, all day wear, no smudge. But the new one says wraps and seals formula on lashes for up to 36 hours. The other one did not have an hour claim on any of them. These two are washable. This one is waterproof and supposed to last for a day and a half. So I wasn't sure if I should do a side by side, like try this one and the original Colossal, but then my eyes would look lopsided and I really want to see what this one does. So we're going to give it a try today. You can see the packaging through the outer packaging. So let's check it out. Is it truly half yellow and half black? Well, I think so. I think it was originally half yellow because the bristles on the center of the wand are not as coated and they do have like a yellowy tinge to it. But I just want to make sure this is fully coated so we get a true understanding of how this mascara works. So I feel like it is fully coated now. So let me zoom you in so we can try it together. I didn't curl my lashes. I generally don't when I'm trying a new mascara. So generally this is my better eye, but I'll show you both of them when they're all said and done. So let's try it out. So I'm not sure what happened to the footage earlier. The lighting went all wonky, but this is one coat on the top, nothing on the bottom. I'm getting like thin wispy lashes so far. So let's try a second layer. Okay, two layers is getting there, but still I'm not getting like crazy volume. I feel like it's lengthening more than volumizing. Now we're talking, but at three layers, lashes are starting to stick together. Three is usually the maximum coats of mascara that I will do, but I will take like a clean rubbery spoolie like this and kind of brush through the lashes if they start to get too clumpy. And that helps to kind of like break up the lash clumps and separate. And then sometimes I will go in for one more layer. but I like that. Now for the bottom. Bottom lashes, eh. It's smudging to the skin more than anything. All right, so I liked the top lashes. Bottom lashes, I'm kind of on the fence about. So let me finish up the other eye and I'll show you both when they're all said and done. Okay, so I am back. I have probably three to four layers of mascara on the top and probably close to the same on bottom. I do like this mascara. It does give volume, but I feel like it lengthens more than volumizes. 
My lashes look nice and long, but I don't necessarily think that it gave me crazy volume. I have some other ones that separate my lashes so much better and really multiply the lashes that I have. So I feel like this one is more of a lengthening slash volumizing mascara, but I'm not mad about the result. I think the top lashes look really nice. You can kind of see they're nice and black, nice and long, nice and lifted. So do I like this mascara? So far, yes. Now, will it be impossible to remove because it's 36 hour and waterproof? I don't know yet. I'll let you guys know. But as of right now, I do like the way my lashes look. Would I say they're borderline like Ardell Demi Wispy status? Definitely on this side, but like I said, this eye is my more dramatic lash eye to begin with, so it has more to work with at the get-go. But even the weaker eye, as far as the lash game goes, looks very pretty, and all I did was put like a sparkle lid topper on so that you could really see what the mascara was doing for the lashes. So all in all, I am quite impressed with this little mascara. It seems like a little, little tube, but it's probably standard size. I like the packaging. I like the bristle brush wand. It didn't like flake all over the place. I have a little bit of black speckling on my lids, but that's pretty much to be expected with most mascaras. But as of right now, this is a win in my book. I'll let you guys know if that changes. Um, stay tuned for my thoughts on the removal process. So I've been using this mascara for the past week and I use a cleansing balm to remove the mascara and it doesn't pull out my lashes, it doesn't break the lashes, very gentle. I don't think it would come off with just like a makeup remover cloth. So I do think you need like a balm or something to really break it up, but I haven't had any issues with the removal process. So it's still a win in my book.